So just speak into the mic yeah. as oh close God, as possible. Oh God, guys. Okay, I will. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I'm a first like you're a pop star. Right yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. We are here with a very, very special guest. We are here with the queen of uh, Love Island, USA, Leah. <laughs> the queen the, of yeah, Love Island, USA. We're, we're breaking a lot of news to yeah. you, honey. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's you walked happening. in here and we said, do you know how much the world is obsessed with you? <laughs> and your jaw's just on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm speechless. I'm literally yeah. speechless. You're... I, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna change everything for you, but in like the best way. It yeah. was such a fun, amazing season. I mean, the season exploded more than any other Love Island USA season. Mm. It, the numbers are insane. The fans are obsessed with it. Yes, everybody's <sighs> talking about it, and everybody is talking about you. They really love you. They are obsessed <laughs> with you, like in a way I've never seen people be obsessed yeah. with someone before on reality. Which TV. sounds <laughs> like you're surprised. Why do you think you're surprised by that? I think I'm just so shocked because I convinced myself in there that I was like, I'm doing a lot of like just I was like, oh God, like my behavior, what am I doing? <laughs> and like I was, I, while I would like, yes, I was being like super authentic, but I'm like, maybe it was like too much. And I was like in panic of like, fuck, like certain things I was doing just wasn't great. Mm -hmm. But oh my no, God. No, I mean, like, that's I, why they like, yeah, like, yeah, I think, I think you're on the right path with that. Like the way, how authentic you were, how real you were, whether you were upset, angry, happy, like you showed it all. And I think it, people really resonated mm -hmm. and related to that. And you were you and like, people can see that. So, I mean, congratulations. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> yes. Thank and you. congrats to you, Miguel. You guys came in second place. How do you feel about that? And how do you feel now being out of the villa with Miguel? Um, I feel I'm like so just like flabbergasted. <laughs> <laughs> we came in second place. Like we were up there. Like honestly, Miguel and I were just saying like, we were elated to even be in the final mm -hmm. four. Final two. We were standing up there like, what the fuck? <laughs> like we were looking at Kendall and Nicole who just said, I'm in love with you to yeah. each other. And we're standing up here like, hey, like, I know it's so this is scary saying yeah. that you want to meet my mom, but yeah. what final two. But then it just makes me so happy because I feel like we've had so many special moments in the villa together that everyone else got to see. And that means, I guess, us being in the final two yeah. mm -hmm. shows that people do like us together and yeah. like I'm just like in shock, but no, it feels so good to be outside of the villa with him. I think that we both were like, we're still very like, what the fuck? Like it feels unreal. Like we were waiting this morning. We were, he, this, he's so annoying. This morning he's like, he was like, good morning Islanders. It's time to wake up. And I was like, stop, stop, stop. Yeah. Like it's all happening. You're in like the real world right now. Did he ask for your number yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not bad. Yeah. No, I'm no, no. Gonna have to exchange it at some point. Yes. I know that's um, I feel I feel like you haven't even it's like that that part hasn't even hit yet, I'm sure. No. Right? Like it's this is we're 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 still here. Like we're yeah, we're in Fiji. We're still in Fiji. So yes. you're probably like, what the fuck why why are these people in Fiji? Like you're yes. just probably so confused right now. I'm just like in shock, but I'm so honored, like even yeah. to be here with you guys. Like this is crazy crazy oh well we we're so we're excited to have so we you, want yeah. we want to talk about the season but we also want to know just what brought you to love island like why did you pick this show why did you want to go on um i think i wanted to go on love island just because i haven't had like the best experiences dating with men like in the past especially like the guys that are in la and like the group mm. of guys that i was probably like speaking with and talking to but I just wanted an experience and I think I just wanted something different and I definitely wanted it with a different group of people and I feel like Love Island has such like a vast group of people that come together in a villa and I was just like fuck it 
Like, <laughs> yeah. Why not? Why not? <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. And yep. look at me now. Right. Exactly. <laughs> what? Final two. Yeah. <laughs> For, you know, the people who know Leah from Love Island, what was Leah like before Love Island? Because I feel like it is a, you know, transformative experience. <laughs> Dude, I had no idea. Like, I thought I was like going on like vacation. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I went to like a fucking like therapy camp. Yeah. Like I yeah. feel literally like I came out on the other end. Just like you don't in real life have the opportunity to have your bad moments played back to you. And I think it's just been such a big thing to me that you have to communicate in there a lot. You mm-hmm. have to hash things out a lot. And as someone who kind of like, I feel like when I have conflict, I kind of tend to pull away. I think that this experience makes you handle it head on. And it also puts a lot of things into perspective of like some behaviors you're doing that you're not even realizing you're doing. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's been really amazing just seeing like, okay, I don't like seeing myself like that and like and I can change it like we always have like the power to change like yeah. mm-hmm. our lives and everything we do and our behaviors and yeah I feel like it's been so eye-opening such a good experience and I just feel literally like a different person yeah <laughs> well it, and it felt like we were watching that happen too because we saw some of the ways you know that you reacted probably more in the beginning of the season and then towards the end, like you were very open and owning up to your actions and like very expressive, which is Mm -hmm. really great. And I think one of the biggest things everybody freaked out about, right, was the Andrea dumping. It was talked about, it was dissected, it was poured over and everyone wants to know what's, What's your definition of taking a back seat? <laughs> oh, can I leave? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and in comes Liv. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, clearly, <laughs> Australians and Americans might have, well, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm dumb as fuck. No, I um, think you guys, I think you, I, I think, think we do. Both just were like misunderstanding. I think it was other. a semantics thing. Yeah. No, I definitely feel like my definition of back seat was clearly not the same yeah. as Liv's. <laughs> yeah you know right but that being said i don't know i'm sorry i'm dying on the hill that i was not saying that i was i did not sway that decision in any mm-hmm. way shape or form roll the fucking tape yeah. <laughs> roll them roll them. they've been rolled they, they've, they've been, been rolled. rolled and i think this is did the take yes. yeah and I, and and well, here's it, and it here's did, the takeaway thank you i think the takeaway was what was shown was you said you know I don't know if Andrea's here for the right reasons, but I'm not sure. Like, that's kind of how you said it. Yes. But everyone else did say Andrea. So right, I, I yeah. think it was like, right. like Fran said, a semantics yeah. thing of yeah. the tapes have been rolled a million times. Um, it was just when it, when it got brought back at movie night, I think everyone was like, oh no, why, are we, why are we reliving well, the this? The thing is when it got brought back at movie night, it kind of wasn't the backseat comment. It was more so that in the villa like i forget who told me but they were like someone said that or no who was it was rob rob Mm -hmm. told me that um some that i had like a huge someone said that i swayed the decision on sending andrea Mm -hmm. home like a huge sway yeah and i was like what Mm -hmm. and so when i heard that clip of Liv talking with you know all of them there i was like she said she played a she was like leah played like a very like mm-hmm. again mm-hmm. me and my paraphrasing yeah, yeah yeah <laughs> no it was but yeah no it, yeah. It, it it makes sense i think it was like a misunderstanding and you bring up rob right. you and rob were big this season big online people have a lot of questions and we saw the ending chat where rob pulled you before he left um how did you feel about him pulling you to talk before he left Oh my gosh, I appreciated it so much. I love Rob. I think he is. Don't take that out of context. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be thrown into a TikTok yeah. edit. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I do. Don't take it out of context, but. But if you want to. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, no, I love Rob. I think that he is such a good person. I think that we both were in there. Um, 
wearing our hearts on our sleeves i think a lot of things happened between us in ways that i wish they never did i think Mm -hmm. things got taken to places that they never should have i think very highly of him he handled himself so amazing on movie night it was hard for me to watch myself speaking like that and just to see the way that he was so calm still open to talk to me and all that but i'm just really grateful that he did pull me for that last chat because Mm -hmm. I feel like it was like our closure of like, I forgive you. We're still friends and I appreciate you for everything you've done in here. And we both were like, we just never stopped caring about each other the whole time. And as for movie night, what they showed and you saying that you didn't like what you saw, people understood why you were angry. Yeah. You know, like people were 100% like also really wish that you, they maybe showed a little more of what, led you to have that reaction because rob was not being honest with you yeah. and like it was kind of everyone saw that okay. right so it was like okay th- this was an action because she was hurt and yeah. like right. he kind of was playing her a little yeah, bit right. for sure um, and i think yeah. like yes you know rob was crying and like you know men should be allowed yes. to be to cry and yep. we know that and like support that but at yes. the same time people totally understood where your anger was coming from because that was right after the recoupling you were blindsided he told you that he was gonna tell you before he told andrea and he kind of just got up there and it was a shock so totally understandable what happened but also on your side of it like you watching it back and having that realization for yourself is also a beautiful thing like whether you know we all support it but if you want to take away from it that you don't want to act like that, then that's beautiful for you. You know, like <laughs> you're like, but me on the other hand, yeah, like, <laughs> like everyone was like, we get it, you know. Really? Do you, yes, totally. Do you think, uh, you know, you and Rob's friendship will continue outside the villa? No, I think Rob and I will be friends forever. Yeah. I think mm-hmm. that we've created like a very special bond in there, and I think that. He is someone like very special to me. Obviously, I feel like there have been moments that they haven't shown and especially there's a lot I'm sure they haven't shown of Mm -hmm. so many good moments we had. And I don't know. I think that we're better as friends, though. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. It seemed like you guys have a great (laughs) a a great friendship now from the way it it all went down and also an amazing friendship with the girls. Everybody Mm. loves the little three girl <laughs> power yes. you guys Amazing. you janae serena what was it like having those girls as a support system oh my gosh pbg my girl <laughs> serena and janae my fucking lifelines in there wouldn't and couldn't have done it without them i owe them everything i've dragged them to soul ties to sleep with me we they've seen me cry die i've literally gone through hell with them and like I feel like I appreciate them so, so much and I couldn't make it up to them. Like I, they mean so much to me. It is ridiculous. They made my experience in there. Like it's when it was like friends, but now that's like, those are my sisters, my actual sisters. Totally. And, and we, we just loved watching that you three together were absolutely amazing. Did you realize you were going to connect with them so quickly? I walked in with Janae and I'm so fucking happy that we got to walk out together. Mm -hmm. And the second I saw Serena, I was like, no, I knew we were going to be friends. And then she told me she was a Virgo Mm -hmm. and I was like, fuck yeah, (laughs) because my sister's a Virgo and I just love Virgos. They are have like the best energy and they're just mm. such funny True. people Man, it's a Virgo. <laughs> True. <laughs> if i just say so myself Shut up. <laughs> yeah. yep well, can, yeah, I'm, yeah. A, I'm a leo <laughs> she's a leo yep i was gonna say yeah, this, you're, is a, you're, this is a leo virgo yeah. relationship mm-hmm. there you go yeah. so yeah. you guys are you're leah you're serena yeah. <laughs> holy fuck yeah yep whoa yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what what's gonna be the first thing you're most excited to do leaving fiji like what i'm like when i get home yes. yeah when you get home oh my gosh see my dog and yeah. see my pets mm-hmm. and 
eat in and out sorry yeah. <laughs> i'm probably like hey mom dad my sister i missed you guys but no, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 things in and out no exactly no i miss my dog so much mm -hmm. yeah i hope she doesn't hate me <laughs> no 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 Never. they have short-term memories <laughs> um do you have you and miguel made any plans for outside the villa oh my gosh yeah we have yeah. so many plans for outside okay, the villa no i appreciate him so much too i think he made my experience mm -hmm. what i felt like i was meant to have and like what i thought it would be and yeah he's definitely yeah our first plan is to go to my barn amazing yeah. See the animals hang out. What do you think of all the accents he does? He's an accent guy. He yeah. is an accent guy. <laughs> there, there are moments I'll be like, Miguel, please. Like, please. <laughs> Lots spare of characters. <laughs> yeah, the spare me. Uh, that was good. People love that. Oh, spare me. <laughs> no, it, it's, well, it's like he's British. Like you have the accent already. Yeah. You know, you don't yeah, need to be yeah. doing right. like our, like <laughs> our accents. Yeah. No, you're, that accent is better. <laughs> just, yeah. You have the good one already. Right, right, exactly. The head itches everything. Yeah. <laughs> I just love seeing you in this moment right now, kind of like taking it all in. Like you, Dude. the show just ended. Like, and now this whole world is right in front of you. How excited are you? I'm so excited. I can't wait to get out there and like be able to talk to all these people that have been watching me i can't express my gratitude enough for i the love and support that you guys say that i have been receiving yeah. <laughs> me not that i know but maybe we, they're pulling my leg yeah. no, uh, we can't even no, put no, it no, into no. words like no. you are not you are not going to understand yeah like until you see it for yourself yep. exactly. i'm just so so grateful because i felt like i was trying to do things in there the right way and i felt mm -hmm. like i just kept getting fucked up but i mean i'm a human and you just yep. gotta own your shit and mm -hmm. keep it pushing but i just yeah i just uh, i'm so thankful to everyone who's been watching and like putting me this far and just loving me and putting up with me and probably i've pissed everyone off but i've also probably made them laugh and cry yeah. and mm -hmm. everything so i just like thank you for yeah. sticking with yeah. me guys yeah okay last question from the end of the season now we've had all these great couples together besides your own couple yeah what couple do you think has was going to have the most success outside the villa oh serena and cordell yeah. duh yeah <laughs> they're the best <laughs> oh my god i just had to ask yeah. but i, I had a feeling been, that would be your answer she, dude she literally was like so nervous that everyone hated them and i every time i would be like oh fucking spare yeah me. like <laughs> they love you i was like why wouldn't they love you guys why yeah. wouldn't they they're yeah. both such lovable mm -hmm. people they're they had like a movie a literal movie yeah. fairy mm -hmm. tale well fairy tale it's crazy but yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a, yeah. they had yeah. like a uh, ups and some, downs but yeah. they came out the other side <laughs> yes. a movie yeah yeah, yeah let's the just drama. Leave it out. a rom-com <laughs> rom i don't know if calm was in yeah, yeah. <laughs> true no they had like a dramedy yeah no yeah. wait no yeah, yeah dra they're, they're, dramedy look, they laugh they have they, they laugh yeah after so, after yeah. they did laugh yeah um, so and we totally agree with you the drama absolutely love serena cordell so happy for them so happy for janae and kenny oh my gosh yeah, just happy for everybody related. leah thank you so much we are rooting for you so hard and all your success and we're so happy for you and thank you for sitting down with us thank you guys Yay. so much for having me <laughs> oh my god <laughs>